Hey, it's pronounced Vag and I'm Adam. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to code the parking sensor overlay to come on automatically when you put your car in reverse. You know, that way. Um, so Charles Humble Mechanic already showed how to do this using the VCDS software, but I have OBD11 uh, with an iPhone and next gen and pro. Um, so put all those things together and we were able to do long coding with OBD11. So I'm going to follow basically his steps, show you exactly how I go through it in the OBD11 app on my iPhone. And hopefully that will guide some of you to be able to do this on your own. So stay tuned, check it out. All right. So when you go and throw your car into reverse, you get you know, your camera, uh, to get the overlay to come up, you got to hit the menu button. Um, that's just kind of annoying to me. I would rather have this up all the time, just like Charles says, same exact reason. Um, you know, I love it. I want it. I'm going to keep it. All right. So I've got my OBD 11 connected on my app. Um, easiest way to get into the control units is to press this blue little button here and you're already in here. So I'm going to go and scroll down to uh, control 5F for multimedia. I have some faults here just from messing around with some stuff. And once you're in here, you're able to go to long coding and go over to the ones and zeros here. That's kind of on the top right. And then um, the the byte index will tell you which byte you're at when you select it. So right now you're at index zero. If you go to the next one, it shows byte one. Can you guys see that? Yeah. So I'm going to go over to, I know this one that's 9F here is byte 16. And so in byte 16, then you go down to bit seven, and you're going to deselect that. Once you do that, slide to right. Long coding success, and now on to the next steps. All right, so we've just coded everything. We're gonna go ahead and put in reverse. And you can see here that it's not automatically popping up yet. Uh, what you have to do is do a hard reset on your stereo, hold down your power button for about 10 seconds, and it will reboot. There it goes. It's coming back on. And wait for it to come back up and then put it in reverse. Here we go. Put it in reverse. Voila. That is so awesome. I'm so excited to have this automatically here. If I don't want it, I'll just pop the little arrow to hide it. Um, works exactly how I want it to now. So major shout out to Charles for showing us how to do that on the VCDS platform because without that, I wouldn't have been able to figure it out. Um, I was able to step through it in OBD 11 because things looked similar. So um, I was really happy about that. Totally appreciate it. I will be making more of these OBD 11 type videos, um, whether it's long coding, adaptations, or even answering questions that people have. I'm curious about how all this works. It is just like, there's so much going on. Um, but I have some ideas of things that I want to try. If you guys have some ideas of what you want to try, drop a comment below and we'll start chatting about that. Um, I've been diving into the OBD 11 forums doing research and um, there's just a ton of information out there. And fortunately, there's a lot of people who already know what they're doing. So hopefully uh, we can ask and maybe see if there's things that can be done that haven't been done before. Um, so yeah, drop a comment below, subscribe to us here, follow us on Instagram, you know, links will be down below and we'll see you guys in the next video. That's it.